Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Uh, first off, Michael's with me. Here he is. Hey guys, what's up? Um, just as out before Alex starts, just want to say that I haven't been uploading because I've been busy and some other stuff. I've also been sick, so I'll hope to start again soon. And we're gonna put up a video soon. So yeah, here's Alex. Um, yeah, and as you see there, I don't have the radio card, guys. And after Professor Elm calls you when you come out of the Price's Gym. If you go to your radio card, if you actually picked one up while you were in Goldenrod at the radio tower, I don't even think I covered the radio tower. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, you'll be able to go to that, and there'll be some, like, rocket grunt or thing or admin, I'm not sure, like, on the radio thing saying stuff, like, something about taking over, <laughs> something about taking over the radio tower. And so right now, what you're going to want to do is fly to Goldenrod City. Um... Because, yeah, the radio tower's in Goldenrod City. Um, so, yeah, when you come here, Team Rocket's pretty much taken over the city. As you can see, there's grunts there. Uh, over here. Yeah, they pretty have, like... They pretty have, like... Pretty much have, like, complete control on the city. And I think there's some blocking the way out of the city up here. I'm not sure, though. Okay, or not. Um, yeah. So, what you're going to want to do is head over to the radio tower... Which is not there. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'm not sure why I just did some loop, but let's talk to this guy. <laughs> Pokemon, they're nothing more than tools for making money. And that guy is wrong, because Pokemon are our friends. <laughs> Take over the radio tower. What? That's none of your business. And this guy just says something about, so this is the Goldenrod radio tower. Yeah. Okay. When you actually go in, uh, yeah, there's gonna be some, like, music thing with, like, uh, no, and if you're wondering why you don't disguise yourself as a rocket, that's only because, um, that's only in the remake, so that's in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and we have a battle. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. Yes. Because you know, like, you're big and scary when a ten-year-old kid, like, beats twenty of you. Anyway, this guy is gonna lead off with Eradicate, uh, level 24. Under-leveled just like the last time we took on Team Rocket, which was not too long ago. Um, yeah, so they're pretty under-leveled, despite me doing, like, one-eighth their HP there. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for a head, but... Um, get the flinch, which is nice. And, wow. And then it just quick attacks because eradicates aren't cool like that. And then headbutt is gonna kill. That was the next turn. Um, yeah, so Inferno's level 30, which means it's. Oh, I have the experience here on Volt. Whatever. Uh, it's one level away from finally learning a better fire move than Ember, which is like good, because Ember is kind of pathetic. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna learn a better fire-type move. Just one level away, so uh, instead of throwing in one of the level 29s, we get the flinch there, which is nice. I'm just gonna um, stick with Inferno until it gets level 31, because it will learn a much better fire move. And Volt's level 31, so it is now my highest level Pokemon. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I'm just going to take the experience share off Volt here. Yeah. Okay, if you just hear me, like, saying, yeah, uh, it just means I'm talking to Michael because, uh, he has questions. Why would they take over the radio tower? Because. Anyway, Jigglypuff is, like, jiggly. Dot, dot, dot. And... Team Rocket's taken over, and it, it shows, like, even Jigglypuff has, like, emotionally torn from this experience. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we're on to this. Anyway, this rocket ground has an Arbok, level 26. Um, 
So, yeah, Michael's complaining about the sprites in this game, and he sounds like me, because actually... Oh, we get the flinch there, which is nice. It's like the third flinch we've had in this game. I'm just gonna use Ember to compare how much... The contrast of how much... Okay, Ember does a bit more. So, wow, it's using Poison Sting. We're wow, I just got poisoned. Okay, so we're like five videos away-ish from the 8th gym, and freaking things using poison- Oh, we get the crit, which is nice. Uh, it's using Poison Sting. Um, so yes, Michael's here to give you a brief thing about Poison Sting. Not exactly about Poison Sting, but about why, if you may notice in Crystal, like he's at the 7th gym and his Pokemon are only level 30, it's not because he's bad, it's because that in Crystal there's many- I mean, you may or may not know why they're so, like, why it's different, because normally at the 7th gym you might be, like, level 40, but, um, once he beats the Elite Four in Crystal, you will see why they are this low and everything, you'll see. Anyway, so this guy has level 21 Radita, which is actually quite pathetic, and we kill it with one headbutt, and Inferno's actually getting pretty close now to level 31, which is actually satisfying. In a very satisfying manner. Okay, and this guy, sh Shocker, is another Rattata. Um, yes. Uh, Michael's intending on shocking me with some shocking stuff. Um, yeah, so Headbutt's just gonna knock his second Rattata out, and we'll move on to his third Pokemon. And his third Pokemon is. yes, guess. It's another Rattata. Uh, yeah, so. This guy literally trained a team of five level 21 Rattatas and intended to be able to- OH! Sorry, this one's level 23! Whoa! Uh, yeah. So, moving on to his fourth Pokemon, which, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna guess is a Rattata. Yep! Shocker! Okay, so, here comes Rattata number four, and this one is at level 23 again. So, he has one Pokemon after this, and please tell me it's Eradicate, and this guy... Wow, I don't care. Oh, but we get the flinch, which is nice, and then one more quick attack. We'll kill it off, even though I'm faster than it. I know I can kill it with Headbutt, but if it goes for a quick attack, then it's gonna do damage to me. If that makes sense. And we get the crit, which is definitely not needed. And his third Pokemon is... Guess what? I have no idea. Oh my god, it's Eradita! Like, massive shocker there, because I had no idea that was coming. I bet all you guys had, like, no clue that that was going to be a Rattata. I bet you thought it was going to be, like, an Arceus. Like, because a guy with four level, four level, like, 21 and 23 Rattatas has an Arceus at the end of his team. Anyway, so, just another quick attack. We'll finish it off. The reason I'm using quick attack, I know I'm faster than it, but if it quick attacks, then it's going to kill me. Oh, I'm not quick. Kill me. Do damage. You think you're a hero? Yeah, I kind of am a hero because, well, like, I, you, you know, de defeat, de defeated you, like, pathetic little Radita using black dressing people at the, like, Slowpilk well, beat you in Mahogany Town, and I'm about to beat you in Goldenrod. And this guy's all like, hey, hey, keep out of our way. Anyway, this guy leads off with a Zubat, and, uh, yep, so, <coughs> sorry guys for, <coughs> I'm still a bit sick, I'm recovering, you know, because it's pretty serious stuff. We get the flinch, which is nice, and then, Michael just brought up a very nice point, um, that's part of the reason I put Headbutt on Inferno, well, A, because... I didn't want my main other attacking move besides Ember to be, like, quick attack with 60 power or whatever it has. And Headbutt also has the ability to flinch, and there's level 31, which means it is time for Inferno to learn Flame Wheel. Uh, don't get Flame Wheel confused with, f uh, is it Flame Spin or Fire Spin? Fire Spin, that's it. <laughs> fire Spin's actually a really garbage move. Like, it does, like, it's almost like Whirlpool. It, like, it has the same, like, concept of like rap or whirlpool where it like locks the opponent in and every like certain amount of oh no sorry every turn it will do like 
10 damage or whatever. It's pretty bad, but... Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna throw in Sprout, which is actually a pretty bad idea against a Zubat. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Kinda did that without thinking. Um, I'll just be able to kill this off with a few cuts. Yep. I'll get one more cut sh Oh, wow, confused right. And how much do you know that just because of my luck, I'm gonna hit myself like nine times in a row here, and then die. Uh, okay, no, I actually get- Wow! Uh, okay, so I get by the confusion, and then I miss. Wait, what's the accuracy of cut? Is- I thought it was 100, but I guess it's 95. Anyway, we get the- No? Whatever. Uh, we get the kill, or the faint, I guess you might say. Um, so yes. He gives up. Okay guys, we have one more trainer, or grunt. I don't even know if you can refer to these people as trainers, because in my mind, five Rattatas between the levels of 21 and 24 is not a trainer. Um, yeah, just kind of throwing that out there. Um, so I'm just going to switch quickly up to the front, who, speaking of new moves, <laughs> um, <coughs> 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 sorry, <coughs> I'm in the midst of, I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the midst of coughing and laughing, uh, never mind. Anyway, speaking of learning new moves, Quigley is actually just a few, I think it's, if my assumption is correct, two level, I'm pretty sure it's, wait, Quigley's not level 31, it's level 29, whatever, I'm pretty sure it, at level 33, it's going to learn, like, a really good move, like, I mean, like, good, good, like, like, grand, like, grand, like, a very nice move, let's just say that. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna use Mud Slap, which is a very pathetic ground move for this point in the game, and we'll be improving on that in just a few levels. Just saying. Anyway, one more Mud Slap will knock this Grimer out, and we'll move on to his next poke, friends. Um, so yeah, not much to talk about. Um... I don't mean to, like, spoil anything for anyone. <laughs> Sorry, M Michael. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, but I'm pretty sure- Wow, it's being an evasion noob. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be something, like, really big on our channel on Sunday. And we knock that thing out with a mud slap, which is- you know, I never got that. How, like, how minimized it makes, like, the sprite just really, like, this tiny little star thing. Like, if it got smaller, and, like, well, the move's called minimize, so obviously it gets smaller. If it got smaller, wouldn't it be, like, easier to hit it? Like, if you use surf, wouldn't it be, like, wouldn't it just, like, completely consume the thing in its surf or whatever? I don't know. Just some of the stuff that goes down in... <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing again. Some of the stuff that happens in uh, Pokemon games are... It's pretty messed up. And this muck is just gonna pound us a couple times. Um, so yeah. One more surf. One more pound from muck, and then... Th <laughs> the reason it's taking so long to, uh knock out this muck is muck actually has really high special defenses i can see recommending one for using in your team i'm pretty sure you can catch them in the burn tower it's like the counterpart of wheezing wheezing has very high defense and muck has very high special defense so i can see using that as a nice special defensive wall anyway so next time on pokemon crystal we're gonna be heading up that way and further up the radio tower to take out some more pathetic grunts who use level 21 ratataz and other weak stuff like that. Bye.